Hi there, this is James from Junior Developer Central and in a previous video we covered how to send a post request to a an API URL via Postman but with that example we sent form data such as what you might find from a HTML web form or other similar source and another common format is to receive JSON data. So this tutorial is just going to talk you through some of the things that you need to be aware of in Postman and actually how to send the post request with JSON data. So let's first of all start off by creating a new request and I'm just going to give it a quick name for sort of JSON data or something like that and save it in my local collection. So for this tutorial I created a, a simple PHP script it's probably one of the world's worst PHP scripts to be honest but it does a couple of things just to talk you through what's happening. Um, first of all we grab the content type of the incoming request and we check to see if that's actually set to application JSON so this is the content type for sending JSON data across network requests and if the content type of the request doesn't match this then we basically say there's a 500 internal server error and we finish the script. If we have got some JSON data in our request, then basically we just get that input, decode it, and there's a, a really trivial check to see if the name property that's been sent through is equal to James. And if it is, we set an array up uh, called data with a few miscellaneous details in there. And then we just send that back to the requester with um, in JSON format. So the ins and outs of the script aren't too important, but just to show you what we've actually got there going on. Uh, so I'm going to actually send a request now to that uh, script and it's called app.php and just to show you straight off the bat if I just send a post request with no other configuration in Postman we should see that internal server error coming up uh, basically saying that there was a problem with the request and that's because it's not in the right format. So how do we actually tell the request that we're sending that we want to use or send application JSON data? Well, there's two ways to do it, but probably the easiest thing to do is to send a body, uh, and by that I mean some data. So if we head over onto the body tab there and just go straight to the raw tab, and in the drop down list here, instead of sending raw text, you can actually change that to application JSON. And so what I can do now is in the main body that where we're sending our data, uh, we can just send some information there. So um, just say name is equal to James and maybe this was a login script or something so perhaps we're sending a password or something. So if I click send now you should find that we get the output that's kind of expected which is that array of data that was generated within the PHP script. So we can tell straight away by that that the content type has been set, read by PHP and accepted and we're on the right lines. So if you're thinking about how that PHP script works, so the first thing it checks is, is the header type for the content type set to application JSON? And you can see here in our headers tab for the request that we've created, it's automatically added in Postman for us the content type of application JSON. So you could add this step in manually, you can come in and type your own uh, content type and head various other headers in here, but when you just literally go to the body, raw and then select application JSON from here, that header in the tab that we have here is automatically created for us. And if truth be told we don't really need to actually send a body for this script still to work, so if I remove that from the body tab, so the header is still set for us, so the first part of our PHP script will still pass and what we should find is that the result that comes back is essentially empty because the data that was sent through didn't get past that check where it was seeing if my name was set in the actual data that's been sent through. So that's the quickest way to make sure that your post requests are sending JSON data through uh, Postman and it works for various other HTTP verbs as well so the same sort of principle for a put or a patch you just need to ensure that the header is set and obviously that you send the relevant body that you want to through. So I hope you found that tutorial useful. If you did, just drop me a comment below and like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more web development tutorials and tips.